Is full knee bending dangerous? I don't know. I'll let you decide. Let's do a case study of some of the strongest knees throughout history. You have high jump world record holder, Stefan Holm. At 5'11", he was told he's too short to be a high jumper, which is funny because still today, no high jumper has cleared a distance further above their own head. He did this in 2005. As Ben Patrick likes to say, he squad cheeks to sneaks in training. So is it a coincidence that his jumps looked like this? We also have George Hackenschmidt, creator of full knee bend squats. Before squat racks existed, Hackenschmidt found the hardest leverage to challenge his knees with light loads. These became true hack squats. There's pictures of him jumping over chairs at age 75, and it was said he did this up until the day he died at 89. Lastly, we have Tom Platt, also known as the quad father. Mr. Platt's used a full range of motion in all his leg exercises. He also had very flexible quads, something you hardly see in bodybuilding. He's still able to squat 315, four reps, with a full range of motion in his 60s. Wild. So, what do you guys think? Please let me know your thoughts below.